today, Goose. No, what? Where are we today? What do you mean, where are we, Bryce? Yeah, that's where what Where are we? That's what I meant, yeah. I don't think we got very far out of Spanish Fork today. Hey, man, we're up on 2nd East. Wow! And guess what our topic is today? Urban living. Ooh, take a look at this. Oh, look at what that. What does that say? That says local honey. And is that legal? you're a smart dude. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> whose, whose wife are we talking about, honey? And what? who who and what makes honey? Uh, bees. Bees. That's our topic today, okay. right? Uh, what's your name, name Rob. again? <laughs> Rob Rob I thought you were just picking on me. got two bees in his name. <laughs> two bees. But look at this, Bryce, I'm protected here, but look at my legs. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. yeah. That's hey. a typical hockey player. Yeah. Hey, our topic today is beekeeping, guys. And you know what? I thought you guys were Ghostbusters. Right? Ghostbusters, <laughs> yeah, really. So we're going to go over here and meet our guest right now, Bryce. What, a bee? Beekeepers. There's a bee following you. They're already mad at you. All right, buddy. This is uh, Riley Beck. He's got him swarming around his head already. Who is uh, this? Uh, Riley Beck. Hi, Riley. Hello. Are you the owner? Yeah. And what's the name of your company? Abby's Honey. Abby's, and how do you spell that? A B E E Z. All That's, right. My daughter's name's Abby, so we need oh, that. Oh, nice. I like that. Nice, nice. And your two cold pork back here. This is Austin Marston and Tyson Binks. All right, let's They've come been... in here. Come in here where they can get a nice good look of these good looking guys, huh? These are the guys doing most of the work this year on the bees, so. How come you guys aren't dressed up in the protective camouflage? Don't even need it. Don't need it. <laughs> really? Plus, look what they look like, Bryce. Does it really matter? <laughs> so if they, you were a bee, you wouldn't sting them? Yeah. <laughs> we've all been stung enough. It doesn't bother us as much anymore. So you've so. built up antibodies? Yeah. Immunity. Well, uh, Immunity. Tolerance is what they call it. Tolerance. So. Yeah. Hey, you know what, guys? I was up here getting this show ready to go, and in about 10 minutes, I learned so much about bees. Guess what? We're going to learn a lot today, aren't we? Yep. Yes, we are. And we're going to have fun while we're learning. I hope so. <laughs> so, equipment. Yeah. Have you noticed? He's duct taped that's, sealed. That's the recommended right He's here. Duct taped? We'll, oh duct, my we'll duct tape the feet, you know, keep the bees from going in the legs. That's the, huh? we don't recommend that. We don't recommend sure. No. Let's do it. No. He's got hair on his legs. Let's I'm, duct tape him. I'm in usually fact, not the recommended flavor. Duct, let's duct tape him together. That ought to be good fun. Okay. Here we go. That's if he mouths <laughs> off. Now, okay, we got our gloves. I, we'll yeah. just let the bees take care of them. How about that? All right, that works. We got our gloves. Yep. Right? We got our gloves. Okay. Now, right. Austin. Yes. Can the bees go through these leather gloves? They can if you're in them long enough. Oh, in them long enough. Yeah. And how long is enough? Well, it takes quite a while. Quite a while. It's, so I, we'll be I've, okay. I've only gotten a couple. Okay. Through the, glove, but through the leather, you're not through the kidding. leather. No, they will go through the leather. Wow. It, 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 you have to be in the highest quite a while though. I, now, I've only gotten a couple in a couple months. So now what I've learned about honeybees is that when they sting you, they leave their venom sac. That's right? true. Holy crap! And so their venom sac. Venom sac. Wow, you do know your bees. That's you right, baby. Ex-wife. That's right. And there's a proper way to get rid of the venom sac so it doesn't keep <laughs> pumping into your flesh. Right. Yep. And how is that so our people will know this? You just scrape it. Usually we just scrape it off with our hive tool. And then, uh, so. Have, have and, you got your hive some, tool, Rob? Uh, I bring mine with me at all times, Good. yes. All right. And we're going to see some of the equipment and tools that they use. Okay. And. Hey, wait, he's got a hive tool. There's our hive tools right oh, there. Oh, there's a hive tool. Oh, they're, they're pretty it's heavy. It's multi-purpose. Now, what do you use? Do you use this end or this yeah, end? this end. Just kind of scrape it off where oh. it is. Okay, so if they don't have a hive tool, what can the people use? Uh, their fingernail. Most people, when they get one, they'll want to just hurry and grab it and pinch it out and pull it out that's when they I see do. it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I usually just go. That's wrong. Yeah, well, if he's scraping it off, that's better. Mm-hmm. But what people do is they, they do leave that sack like that you said. That little sack. And then they pinch it and actually injects more. more oh, oh okay. that's brilliant. Yeah. So if they use a credit card? Credit yeah, card's empty. perfect, yeah. So Thank let me see if I got this straight. I got a bee sting. I'm going to run and get my credit card. <laughs> so they can use their finger now. Uh-huh. Okay. Zip him up here. I got to say, I like the look. So, Riley, where's the typical place that a bee will attack? Um, right there in that little hole right there. <laughs> that's, that's not a good spot right there. Right in between the zippers. They'll crawl up and get you right on your neck. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. We don't need that. 
I am allergic to bees. Hey, That's Brian, why we've got you suited up. You I know there's some particular <laughs> colors that you don't want to wear out gardening. Tell the people what colors are the worst. Uh, bright red, just like a, you know, with, with bulls and that. For some reason, red's an aggressive color. Get some uh -huh. more red. Uh, well, what about BYU blue? That's good. That's, that's a good, good color. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Nicely done. Uh, that's why I'm wearing yeah. blue today. So, <laughs> what are the best colors to be in the garden? Uh, the lighter colors, uh, white. What? And, you know, There's people a have a. shocking you right now, dude. People have a misconception about bees, though. They usually don't, it's usually not honeybees that sting most people. And that, you know, the way you know, like we talked about, is that sack. So when you're just out in your garden, like we're sitting here next, right next to all these beehives, they, they really just don't bother us. Hey, one of the worst things we, <laughs> we can do is to swat at them. Yeah. And what does swatting do? Makes them mad. Oh, makes them mad yeah. and they want to attack. Yeah. Unless right? You're quick enough. Unless you're quick enough. So what is the best thing <laughs> we can do when they're hovering around our heads? Juice, I can't see your uh, face. Usually move, move your hand real slow. Real slow. Real slow. And uh, they'll usually leave you alone. So, like there's one around. See this one right here, Bryce. Yep. I'm gonna be a smart beekeeper today, and I'm not gonna swat at this bee. Uh, wax on. See wax this bee on. right here? He wants to get on camera. I See this? He's a star. Have you got him? Yep. Right there. <laughs> yep. Okay, we're gonna take our first break right here, Bryce, and Rababa, and we'll be back in a minute and go get you a peanut butter and honey sandwich. Oh. Yeah, baby. Austin, no, I don't want duct tape. This is not duct tape. Have you got some goose tape? This is goose tape. Uh, All right, oh, put oh, it on yes. here, baby. Put <laughs> the goose tape on. <laughs> <laughs> All the way up and over the head. <laughs> goose tape is the only way to tape. That's what we like to hear. Goose tape. <laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. We're going to go over here to Riley again, and we're going to ask him about local honey versus careless honey. Careless? <laughs> careless honey. Why? What's the difference, buddy? The local honey, most people want it because it has the... Uh, well, the bees that are around here in these trees are getting local pollen. So they like it because it builds up a, a tolerance to, to their allergies. Okay. So um, that's, that's the main reason people like to buy honey from us. Well, wait a minute. This is something new. So if you eat local honey, you can build up a tolerance to allergies, to the, uh -huh. to the pollen allergies. Yeah, the honey will still, ha it has just slow amounts of pollen in it. So as you, I think that some people say about a tablespoon a day, and then uh, then you just build up a tolerance for it. Hey, you guys want to see in the hive? Yeah. What do you think, Rob? I'm a scared. Are you scared? <laughs> He's a scared. <laughs> I don't know, he squirted that stuff, and now they're like swarming around my head. Okay, so is what is like this stuff? Is a big bong or something? I don't know. <laughs> Good question. This is though. smoke. What does it, so can I get it, it kind of settles them down. I think I think what it does is it kind of, a couple of things. They they think there's a fire. They go in the hive and they kind of gorge on the honey. So then they don't care about us as much. And oh. they, they get kind of, you know, fat and happy. So. and just. <laughs> so what I'm going to kind of do is just open that up a little bit and put some smoke in there for them. They'll okay. settle them down a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, there it is. Now, All right, so how many bees would be uh, typically in this one hive here? So Riley? each of these are a hive, but one box like this, probably it, it probably has 15,000 bees in it. 15,000? Oh, oh, wow. Um, That's more than ever attend a U of U football game. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but when they play in the Cougs, it's a packed <laughs> house. Yeah, with Cougs. Okay. It's a packed hive. Oh. <laughs> By the end of the summer, a hive like that one back there that has more like three boxes, they'll have about 50,000. 50, 50, 40 000. to 50. Oh yeah. Wow. Gosh. Okay, so what's the typical life cycle of a drone and a worker? Well, that's an interesting question. Yeah. Well, the, the what is a drone and a worker? I don't even know. Okay, the, tell them what a drone I'm is. I'm more of a worker than a drone. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, you wouldn't want to be a drone bee. Well, for a while, you'd want to be a drone bee. Cause it's nice. They, all they do is they just kind of eat, and they don't they don't do the work. It's They're actually, like my kids, then you basically. Yeah. Say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got it. So okay. the, the drones are the male bees. Oh, the male bees. And their only purpose in life is to mate. Oh, to mate. Wait, maybe I am a drone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And okay, then, now um, the workers. So 90% of them, probably over 90% of them are actually workers. All of them you see there are the worker bees. I'll see if I can show you the difference between one. Oh, we'll pull now, you told me earlier out. they last about six weeks. Yeah, they, they work they work themselves to death oh. is what they do. That's why I love these bees. They're just amazing. But Kind of like Bryce. <laughs> yeah. Works himself to death. Now, 
they, they go out and pick that. up nectar? They do, yeah. If you went over here to these flowers on the trees and, and my raspberries and uh -huh. that, they're, they're hitting them and picking up nectar. I'm all about the nectar. Oh, right. Let me show you something right. if you want. I Let's can, take a look. Oh, There's your hive here. tool. So these are called frames, what's in here. Gotcha. And we'll just pull these out nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do that too fast. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Wow. Look at so. that. Look at that, guys. Is that something else? Wow. Where else are you going to see bees this close up? Where? Uh, right here if you come over and visit. <laughs> Rob, where? <laughs> Only on Goose in the Wild. That's Only right, on baby. Goose in the wild. All right, so that's a drone right there. Big eyes and a bigger oh, body right there. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Right wow. So, wow. And then inside of there, that, that yellow stuff is pollen. And then up here, that's honey that they haven't capped yet. It's okay. in all of those cells. All right, so how do they convert the nectar to pollen to honey? The other way around. Oh, it's well, the other way? The pollen and nectar are different. Pollen's just the, the yellow stuff in the flowers. Oh, uh -huh. And the nectar is just kind of like a sugar water. Oh, okay. And, and so do... they just bring it back and stick it in here. And then it has a high moisture content at first, but then they, they kind of, uh, they, they, they get rid of the moisture in it and then they cap it. Let me pull out one more frame here and I'll, I'll show you. Yeah, with your hands now do you buy the combs we buy we buy a plastic a black a black plastic thing like that in fact i'll, I'll pull them out here in a second you want me to smoke them yeah we just got to smoke them like that all right thanks hands up no not you oh, okay. the bee oh sorry about that oh they like that Ooh. stuff so yeah we we <laughs> buy this and it when when we buy it at the the frames it doesn't have any wax on it it just it's just a, a uh, and that's wax on the top. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we can. So, oh my gosh! Look at that one. All right. This this way you're going to be able to see the babies. I don't know if, if that camera would see. Let's Where see. Kind of in the shade. So this stuff right here, that's okay. actually that that that's all going to hatch into bees. Okay. Whoa! So every one of those will Looking hatch like out into a bee. Or something? Yeah. Let me see. They're probably not quite don't kill ready. Kill the thing. All right. We won't kill it for. Good. Just for the sake of Yeah, we don't of kill it. things on That's right. We don't Goose kill things wild. on Goose in the Wild. All right. We're a different outdoor show. Though the elk bugling show, he spit all over <laughs> a guy. We are different. Well, we are different. Look at him. Remember when he <laughs> spit all over that guy on the elk bugling show? Yeah. yeah that was, that was now, now, who wants to taste some of this? This is the, the capped honey. They'll cap it. Uh -huh. And that, you, that, that means it's ready if it's capped like that. Oh. That, oh. That wax. So if I was to scrape that off there, you can oh, see that. Oh, look, the, yeah, it's all shiny. And it's just a clear, really clear, clear honey there. Oh, wow. I'm hungry. See this bee right there? It's telling those other bees where the sugar is. Watch how he, he wiggles. He's, see how he's wiggling? He's doing it in a specific pattern. And the way he wiggles, if he wiggles up, it means it's towards the sun. Oh, that, that, that's where their ah. nectar is. So he's saying, hey, there's flowers. And then he says, for how long he wiggles, says how far away they are. You know what, Rob? I don't know. I want to see the queen, baby. I want to see the queen. Don't we all? all right, let's show you the queen. Right there. Oh, oh yeah. You can yeah. Tell the if, if you watch her, she, she might walk around, walk and set her, set her back in back. one of those. And... Okay. What does the queen eat? We all you want to know. You know what? She won't even feed herself. All these bees just sit and feed her. Like at my house. Is that called the, is that called the royal jelly? Yeah, yeah. They nice feed her royal jelly. See, and you Nectar. thought I was just another pretty face, royal didn't you? Jelly. I am just the eye candy. Another pretty face. You know, you can't tell behind that screen. That's a good thing. <laughs> royal jelly. Huh? What's wrong? I had the mic in the shot the whole time. Oops. Oops. Oh, we didn't get you guys any honey to taste. Oh, the honey. That's important. Yeah. We better grab a scoop. Yeah, Did you get any important. honey? All right. <laughs> Here There's you go, honey Goose. all around the edges there, huh? Yeah, we'll, we'll grab them just a piece off of there so that you guys can try. Right, should try it. There, do you want to hold that? I'll hold this. We told you we were going to taste some of this natural born honey. You Outstanding. Betcha. Okay, and guess what? Sound good to you? Yeah, sounds really guess good. what, Bryce? Yeah. We're going to feed you. So open your wide, open your mouth wide, and oh, I'll, good I'll little go Bryce. down right oh. here. Good little Bryce. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I want you guys to know, he really, he really did put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. How does it taste? Wow. That's awesome. Really is that awesome? Yeah. That is good. Wow. Okay. There you go, Goose. <laughs> okay. No, that's you better try right Okay. Ooh, I want, that was a Goose. Ooh, that is I good. I want some more of that. Ooh. 
I Ooh. do. I'm gonna Ooh. more of that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I took it all. He took I? it off. Well, I'll get my own, honey, Bryce. Hey, we're not faking this, Bryce. What? This is good stuff, it man. It is dang good. Well, I want honey. It's gone. Fine. I've... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I threw down, down the gloves. The gloves. Wait, I'm going threw in. down the gloves. I'm going in. Hey, Rob, don't go over there. I'm going in. Rob. I'm going in. What are you doing? No. <laughs> Give me uh, the tool, the no. tool thing. Look at it, I got I nails. Tool. I need the tool. the tool. There's the tool. Ah. Here you go. You get... oh well, I don't know how to work. Scrape it. <laughs> the poison sack is killing oh, me. Boy. I don't know how to work the darn thing. Get him, Riley. Get these things out he of my needs, hand. He needs a MasterCard, right. I think. Get him, Riley. <laughs> All right, just scrape it out oh, like that. Yeah. And see it. Remember Bryce go. on the trail There's when the he grabs the stinging nettle? Yeah, to. things Riley? I do for SF17. <laughs> tell him, tell him. What's that? Tell him. Tell, tell him. him tell him about reaching in and all that. I just wanted some honey. Not a good idea right here, guys. Okay. Never a good idea right here, guys. <laughs> Bryce. Yes, sir. I can't believe how quick the bees hit him. Look at the size of my finger. <laughs> how, how quick they hit him. <laughs> Look at my finger, dude. Now, uh, <laughs> he needs to get ice on it, right? <laughs> Now that's yeah, I'm not question. putting my finger what? in your mouth, I know that. He needs to get ice on. What, yeah. what do you do? Ice? What else? Uh, Benadryl is probably the best thing. Benadryl, yeah. ice. People say cold mud, but it's really not the mud. It's the cold that, oh, yeah? that keeps the swelling down. It's not the mud. Getting okay, Bryce. Up. Hey. We're going to go around these trees and over here where they're manufacturing, making the hive boxes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to see how that's done. Okay. We're going to go over here. All right. This is where we do the fast motion walk. Yeah, the fast motion walk. Come on. <laughs> All right, buddy. So, where do we start and how do we start? Oh, man. We put together so many bee boxes. A lot of people around town know us. In fact, I think we almost cause a lot of wrecks as people drive by. They'll see these like hundreds of boxes piled up here in the yard. Okay. Especially when we're painting them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of famous for that. Why do you paint them? One's for protection of the wood. Uh huh. And the other one, we paint ours a bunch of different colors so the bees don't drift, so they know which hive is theirs. Because ah. like, I, when I, like I say, we take all those down to California and we'll take hundreds of them. Kind of helps them to know if theirs is a green box or a yellow or a blue. Okay, it makes sense. Well, it's kind of like here in the neighborhood. You notice how the houses are all painted exactly. different colors? Yeah. Like Bryce's, his is pink. What? <laughs> all right, Rob, I love the smell of new wood. Smell this. Ooh. Ooh, don't that smell good? Piney. Ooh, what kind of wood is it? Yeah, you got it. Is it piney? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, baby. Okay, what else goes into a high box? Um, all those frames that I was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Sometimes a feeder in the spring, we'll feed them sugar water to get them, uh, to get them started and going better. I know what won't go in the box anymore, and that's this finger. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. If you get stung enough times, you'll be in a pine box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We can, uh, we can probably little, of it's these the little two. things that yeah, make you laugh. That's Bryce for you. Oh, here's here's oh, one yeah, of the, here's the, here's the frame. So you guys kind of saw them after they're all built out, but those bees will build out that wax. This is just a plastic frame, and, and the bees actually build them out for us with the wax. So, in the natural environment, without any mad ma man made help. That wasn't honey, I just ate. How does a bee make wax? A... <laughs> I don't know what it was. It's wax, I think. What does a bee use for a hive? You know, they'll find old tree stumps. They'll live in trees. Sometimes we'll, uh, sometimes they'll actually go up in the eaves of houses. We'll have, people will call us up trying to get them out of there. But may I ask a question, Goose? What? Remember in the old cartoons where you see the bear like and it had that that round thingy looked like, like a beehive thing? Oh, that was Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. What up with that? What is that? That's kind of like a beehive. Sometimes they'll swarm or. Sometimes they'll build up in trees and that, and in, in, in real life, natural, naturally. They call them a feral swarm or a feral bees. Okay, feral. What does feral mean? <laughs> hey, huh? feral means wild. Oh, a feral yeah. cat? A feral cat is a wild cat. A feral bee. I have a feral wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they just brought me, this is one of the feeders. So we just we just mix sugar water early in the spring to get them started. It, what we it does put that it, in the box. Yeah, we put that in the box and just dump sugar water in there, and the bees will walk down inside there and eat it. Get a taste, and it's they'll kinda, want to hang out in the box. It's before things come into bloom and that. 
we'll, we'll feed them and it kind of would it you just, use that in the winter let's say yeah sometimes because there's winter. no flowers see how hockey oh, players think very good. in fact yeah. that's it that's a good point that the whole reason that these bees are putting all that honey in those boxes is that's what they eat all winter and so ah. they'll eat seven, 60 to 70 pounds of it sometimes in the winter. Jeez. Well, after hanging out with Goose, he would need a much bigger box. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> good question. That's a good question. But you told I got me a good question. the workers only live six weeks. Well, that's when they're working. The, working to, they can actually still lay, lay in the winter, too. She, that queen will still lay bees in the winter. I think they live a little longer in the winter. Okay. But their average life cycle is six weeks. I don't know. Okay. We're going to go to another break. Our and last break. Our last break, yeah. and then we're going to come back. And you know how we close our show. <laughs> hey, have you ever seen our show? I haven't seen it. Have you guys hey. seen our show? I don't know. Oh, wow. Has anybody seen our show? What about these two that don't hey. want to be on camera? There's, Look at yeah. them. There he is. <laughs> Look at them, see? No, there's someone way down the street that's seen the show. Okay. They just ducked in that door down there. That's my wife. <laughs> Okay, you know how we close our show. <laughs> Maybe Bro I do, apparently no one else. Bryce is usually looking for me, oh, baby. Oh, that yeah, yeah. Go get another honey sandwich and we'll be right back. Like honeycomb. Honeycomb. Oh, <laughs> Okay, guys, we're back to close our show. And Robbie, you know how we close our show. We thank our guests. And our guests are who today? I don't know. <laughs> but I was looking at your finger. Look at the cavern in my finger. That was an attack beam. Wow. Oh, you man. know what, guys? If that would have been my finger, it would be twice that size. Yeah. Oh, oh, by the way, Rob, where did the owner go? You sent him to get a honey sandwich. Oh, that's right. You know? I didn't get any honey. So, Ri so Riley's the one that got away this time. That's right. And you told him to go get a honey sandwich? Yeah. And he Wait lives there. There he is right there. Did you really? You really went and got a honey sandwich. That's pretty good. Good stuff. Awesome. That's great. Well, good. I, lo I can't. I lo we, lo we lost Goose again. No way. Wait. <laughs> they got stuff. They're looking huh. suspicious. Did he hide behind here? Oh man. Rob, there's no way. Every week, it's something. <laughs> He's getting too old to run that fast. That's a good point, so where would we look? Maybe he got stung by a bee and took off a little faster. What? Ah, he didn't have time to get in there. Yeah! Oh, hey! Yeah! <laughs> Hey, you know how we close our show? Goose in a box. Here Boy, we go. Did I you can't get your arm up? I can't use my arms. Here we go. <laughs> hey, it's a great day. Look, look, Bryce. It is a great, great day. day. Beautiful day. Well, you know how we end our show. Oh, well, how do we do that? <laughs> <laughs> we, we love you. We, we truly do. do. Nice. Warm fuzzies for everyone. You bet. And remember, we love you. Oh, what? We, we, we love you. We, we truly <laughs> do. <laughs> We'll catch you on our next show. It's not maybe. easy being us. <laughs>